long ago. A lone explorer named Arnie Sacknusson made a fantastic descent to the fabled lost kingdom of Atlantis at the Earth's core. After many centuries, his trail was discovered. First by me, Professor Oliver Lindenbrook, my niece Cindy, student Alec McEwen, our guide Lars, and his duck Gertrude. But we were not alone. The evil Count Sacknusson, last descendant of the once noble Sacknusson family, had followed us to claim the center of the Earth for his power mad schemes. He ordered his brute-like servant, Tor, to destroy our party. But the plan backfired, sealing the entrance forever. And so for us began a desperate race to the Earth's core to learn the secret of the way back. This is the story of our new journey to the center of the Earth. Sacknusum sign, but there's no trail. I think the modern Count Sacknusum and his friend Torg are responsible for that, Alec. They got here first, and somehow caused a landslide behind them that wiped out the trail. Boy, I don't know why we bother to save their lives all the time. What are we going to do now? They stop, Torg! Stop forever! I have triumphed! <laughs> you see, they've given up! They're turning back! Last I make certain that the riches of Atlantis shall come to their rightful owner. Me! <laughs> For Tog to the center of the earth! <laughs> Pretty smart idea to build gliders if I do say so myself. Yeah, if they fly, it'd be smart. But if they crash, it'd be not so smart. Don't worry, they'll fly. The wind's picking up. Are you ready, Lars? Yeah! All right. You're cleared for takeoff. All passengers, fasten the seatbelts. Come on, Lars. Hold on, Lars. Do not worry. In my country, I was champion glider flyer. They made it. Let's hope we do. Come on. Those rocks! I'm glad we didn't have to cross that country on foot. What was that? Look! A prehistoric wolf. It must be four feet tall. Gertrude wants a ride, Lars. What is the matter, Gertrude? <laughs> Professor, in the sky! Giant vampire bats. They're going to attack us. I'll get it. Good shot, Alec. There are too many, Alec. We'll have to dodge them. I'll try to flip him off. Uh, that did it. We're going down. Look out! Nice going, Lars. We lost them. Yeah, but we then lost the professor and Alec, too. Oh, my gosh. We've got to go back and find them. They might have crashed. The wind is too weak now. We must land first. Over there. Yeah, someone lives there. Be then be careful. Look, over there. Hold, people. They're attacking those little men. We've got to stop them, Lars. That one's got a rock. Look, Lars. Yeah, 
We land now. Maybe those little people help us find the professor and Alec. Golly, I forgot all about them. Oh, my head. Where am I? The glider. We crashed and... Alec! They're getting closer. Alec, where are you? He must still be alive, or they wouldn't have bothered taking him. But where can they be going? They're going into that canyon. They'll see me in a second. I've got to get some cover. That cave. If I can just get in there. Thought they had me that time. Where are those rocks? Where did they go? They were here a minute ago. They have disappeared. Like fairy tale people. That's not very good manners. Maybe they was afraid. Afraid of us? We must take cover, Cindy. By those hills. People used to live in England. We are the descendants of the ancient English Druids. You see, it's very simple. And not to me. There's no time for explanations, Lars. They've promised to help look for Uncle Oliver and Alec. Yes, but we are not very strong. If the wolf people catch us, they will kill us. We will make an army. Then you will be strong. Do not worry, Cindy. We will find them if they've been still alive. I must have walked miles already. If I don't find an exit soon, I'll never find one. Well, there it goes. Wait a second. There's still light in here. It's coming from there. Oh, thank goodness. It's wide enough to get through. Now, let's see where... That must be the headquarters of the Wolfmen. The place they were taking Alec. Sackers. I should have known that evil would always find evil, even down here. Somehow I've got to get inside that castle and find out what he's up to. Ha, ha, ha. 
Well, it looks like I'm to be the first underground cowboy. I'll never get by without his noticing. So I'll have to make sure he notices at the right time. That sounds like Sack Newsome now. My friends, here is my proposal. I, the great Count Sack Newsome, shall personally lead you in battle against your sworn enemies, the Druids. And when we have crushed them, you will in turn help me destroy my enemy, Lindenbrook. Do we agree? There's someone there. Get him! I'd better get... Uh-oh. Now you are fine, Lindenbrook. Brook. Fire! Good. Very good. Keep to practice. Cavalry, charge! Good. Now, paratroopers! Yeah, yeah, I think so. Attention! We go fight the Wolfman now. Forward! March! I only hope we're in time. Professor Lindenbrook. So they got you too. Alec, are you all right? Of course he is. Do you think we would eat him? Or something savage like that? <laughs> Very amusing, Sacknism. I'm glad you are in a laughing mood, Lindenbrook. But what I have in store for you is also very amusing and very civilized. You see, I took the idea from a famous work of literature. I'm sure you will recognize it, Professor. Now talk. The pit and the pendulum. <laughs> you refused to turn back when you had the opportunity. Now you will see how Count Sacknusim punishes trespassers on his domain. Come, talk. It is time to lead our disciples into battle. Goodbye, Lindenbrook. <laughs> we haven't got much time. That thing's moving fast. Maybe there's a way through these walls. It's no use. There's no way. Unless we eat our way out. Eat? What makes you say that? Well, nothing. It's just that these walls are full of salt. Salt. I wonder. Yes. This is almost pure potassium nitrate. And unless I miss my guess, that sulfur mixed in with it. Look out! This is our only chance, Alec. Gunpowder. Potassium nitrate and sulfur makes gunpowder. Right. This should get us out, one way or another. Hurry! It's working! Get down! Watch out! The wall's going! <laughs> in. Yes, the castle itself is a giant powder keg, and we're at the bottom of it. Now you go back, Cindy. This is the start of wolf country. Black, the wealth paper. Good. Cindy, tell the others they better get ready. Yes, sir. Throw it down there. Yes, how convenient. The little fools have made our job that much easier. <laughs> As if their pitiful little army could hope to stop Count Sacknusim. <laughs> what was that? 
Well, <laughs> so much for Lindenbrook. Don't worry, tonight we shall sleep in the castle of the Druids. Attack! <laughs> Depends on it. I'll try. Now. No. No. Good shooting, Alec. I'll go ahead and check, Professor. Yes, by all means, go ahead. The Professor and I have some private business to dispose of. Sacknusson. I thought you might be lurking around, but I didn't think you'd have the courage to show yourself without your baboonish friend. You have insulted me once too often, Lindenbrook. Now I shall have my revenge. Would you attack an unarmed man? Of course, my dear professor. On guard! <laughs> ha! This time, I shall skewer you. That tree. Yeah! What? <laughs> Too bad, Count. You seem to have forgotten the first rule of hunting. Never step into your own trap. <laughs> Thanks to you, we shall never have to fear the wolf people again. We thank you with all our hearts. Oh, that was nothing. What about the Count and Torg? The last I saw of them, they were running at top speed, with the Wolfmen hot on their trail. <laughs> now, if we only knew where our trail was. I am sorry, we cannot help you. That ring, where did you get it? The legends say that it was given to my ancestors by a tall, white-haired creature many years ago, as a present. It must have been Arnie Satnusum. Yes. What happened to this creature? He walked off into the Blue Mountains and was never heard of again. Not until now. Okay, let's get going. Where to? To the Blue Mountains. Ah! 